Hello and welcome to Money Control. We have a special guest for a special show at Money Control, Manish Chaudhary, Senior Vice President, Global Product Management and Strategy of Global Technology Major, Pitney Bowes, is going to talk us about evolving frontiers of technology, data, IoT and related areas. Welcome to the show, Manish. Thank you. Uh, tell us about Pitney Bowes. It's, it's a 100-year-old company and how mm -hmm. we managed to stay relevant. Pitney Bowes, next year we're going to actually celebrate our 100th anniversary. We have changed significantly over the last 100 years. It's a very different company than uh, what it was. But just to give you a little bit of a context, in 1920, we invented the space of postage uh, meters and the whole idea about that time was removing complexity from commerce. Fast forward uh, 2019, we're still removing complexity from commerce but we're removing complexity in mailing and shipping. Mm -hmm. We're removing complexity by using underlying technology transformation, whether it is data, IoT, uh, digital transformation. Whitney Bose has gone through a major digital transformation over the last five years. Mm -hmm. uh, we have transformed every aspect of digital transformation. And digital transformation is not like just an IT system change. It is changing systems, processes, how you interact with clients, uh, talent, upskilling a workforce. We have invested significant amount of energy in really building our data and analytics platforms. That kind of tells us that you know this is how we are staying relevant, this is how we are innovating with clients, this is how we are making sure that we are relevant for the next hundred years. Yeah. So this is very fascinating, you know, and, and uh, you know, managing and transforming and growing a hundred year old company mm -hmm. and continuing to grow is not easy. So what are the challenges and risks that you faced and how did you overcome this? Most of these risks, I would try to define it in three different categories. Number one is organizational. Every company actually goes through organizational risk, which is how do you break the silos in your organizations? Mm -hmm. How do you really get all the data which is there in the organization? So typically, uh, you would find every large organization would have close to 100 plus uh, data enterprise systems. Mm. They would have uh, siloed information which is in all over, you know, in the organization which is all over the place. So what we did was we broke the silos, we got the whole infrastructure place, we invested in systems. Other internal challenges which most companies have to overcome is how do you upskill your entire workforce? Uh, how do you make data in available to your entire organization so they can make smart decisions to support their clients? So mm -hmm. we worked extensively on all of the organizational aspects. Second area which I think is very, very relevant in this thing is what do you do with engineering and products? Yeah. Uh, how do you create elegant products? How do you make your engineering systems much more agile, much more contemporary, much more iterative, so you are able to respond to market conditions and market trends much, much faster. Third, uh, which is probably very, very important is uh, the client aspect. When you are trying to transform, you have to really make sure you're not too far from the client Yes. and you're not too much ahead of the client. That's right. You really have to be where the client is and you really have to get the client in the conversation when you're transforming. If you do these three things of your engineering products, your organizational and really making sure that client is at the center, this becomes a success story. I would like to know about your postage metering business and you've been in that line of business for about 100 years. Can, can you, can you uh, tell me about the transformation that has taken place in that line of business? It's a business it's of smart connected devices yeah. and I call it smart connected devices because our, our platform is all IoT enabled mm. backed by smart artificial intelligence and data analytics. Mm. We laid down four key priorities of transforming that business. One we said we're going to really simplify the portfolio and reposition the portfolio. Mm. Um, second thing we talked about was we're going to have shipping enabled with all of our portfolio. Yes. Uh, third, we wanted to make sure that everything what we are doing is globally available as quickly as fast as it can. And the third most important was how do you create new value uh, if you have uh, 700,000 plus client to actually start consuming new values. We've launched a new product called Centro C. That's a Android enabled shipping and mailing device. It has very smart mailing and shipping applications on the device. So far, we've got close to 100,000 of, uh, of our clients. We've sold 100,000 of those machines. They are actively in use. We're getting great results. Uh, let's talk about data. And, and, you know, it's often said data is the new <coughs> oil. Uh, how is data, how important is data for companies, your clients, and, and how, how is data actually helping companies transform itself and mm -hmm. also I think it all starts from having a data strategy of bringing all of the data together mm -hmm. into a place. Uh, the problem which most companies run into is they spend 90% of the time collecting data and preparing. Mm 
Mm. They spend another 5% of the time figuring out what to do with it. So the time you actually take of an organization to really get answers is less than 5%. Mm. What has to happen and what has to change is eventually we want to get to the point where 95% of the time in the data story you are spending time on getting answers. Correct. So what we have done over the last five years, the investments in Commerce Cloud and our data backbone and the data spine is essentially getting all of the information, whether internally or externally at one place, really having data scientists to uh, really democratize that information Correct. where different parts of the organization can ask the questions yeah. which are relevant to them uh, and it's personalized to them. And then they can use that information to really do business better or serve the clients better. So we're on that step three where yes. we fix the data strategy, we've got the platforms in place, we've got the, the right data science models where we are trying to have decisions made by algorithms more yes. and consumed by humans to interpret it. I think the more and more we can get the algorithms to make decisions, uh, and we can have the conversations of what risks are sitting with the business, whether it's data security or cyber security or the decisions which the algorithms and the data is making. So I think we're on a very, very profound journey in terms of yes. figuring out how data is going to be used across the business. And to me, that's the critical part of the next digital revolution, which most companies are going through. I almost think this is like the the thing which happened at Y2K yeah. or other... So it's big almost like the Y2K so. moment, the consolidation of consolidation and democratization of data is yeah, absolutely, absolutely yeah. going to decide which way companies are going to mm -hmm. be successful in using data for their own commercial successes. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Manish, for this wonderful perspective. That was Manish Chowdhury, Senior Vice President, Global Product Management and Strategy, Global Technology Major, Pitney Bowes, giving us a perspective on what's happening in the frontiers of the world of technology and data. Stay tuned for more news and updates on moneycontrol.com.